y'all, it is time for another haul video. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I went to Target two different times, so that's what's gonna be in this haul, and I found some great stuff, y'all. I don't even know where to begin. Like, there's more stuff off to the side that I couldn't fit in, so I just put the one bag in the background for the beginning. So, we're gonna take this, move it out of the way, grab from it at random, and show you all this wonderful, fantastic, super exciting dolly goodness I got. Okay, first, I have to show you all this. Look! Can you stand it? I got another store display. They're just gonna throw these away and look! I got all these shoes. I got this one that's like almost the complete thing. It has a little box and a little certificate and a little bag. A little bag is even in there. Like what? They were gonna throw this out. I can't, I can't. And then there's one, two, three, four, five more pairs of shoes that are just the shoes. And then this one, like I said, that is almost complete. So that would have been $60, y'all. And you know, see, hot toys sold out. I just asked them, I said, can I have this? Cause I know that y'all just throw these away. And the lady said, sure. She said, if you have a problem, just tell them at the checkout, we said you could have it. So here it is. And I can't wait to bust into these. This is so cool. Now I have a pair of these that I paid the $10 for, but now I have a second pair and I'm super excited. There's two pairs of cute tennies, two pairs of heels. And these are kind of like midi heel boots, I think is what those are. Look at the side. This is so cute. Look at her. The cute little Fitz Rainbow High Fashion Dolls. That's so cute let your true color shine. And then on the back, it's supposed to be like a store display, kind of cool thing, collect them all. I really would like to keep these if I can figure out a way to bust this down and make it flat. Cause I'm gonna take the shoes out and put them on my dolls, obviously. But you know, the box display is pretty cool. But if I can't figure out a way, like I'll keep like this front panel, I'll cut this off where it says Rainbow High Mini Studio. And then, you know, of course the little illustration on the side and probably the thing on the back too. I don't wanna go on and on about this, but I just think this is super super cool and I feel so lucky to have grabbed this. Now I got the thing that I just showed you, the Rainbow High accessory display thing on the first visit as well as this. Oh my goodness, y'all, I told you guys when I did the deboxing of Uma Van Hoos that if I could find these, I was definitely gonna get them and I did and now I have Harley Limestone and I don't know y'all, I know that Y'all that have been around my channel for longer than a minute know that I love pink. Pink, pinky pink is my favorite. It sings to my heart, it's my signature. I love pink, but this Harley Limestone, y'all, I can't even, her face, and her lips, I love her. I love all her accessories. Now, I'm not as crazy about the little bike short pants, you know, that she's wearing, but I love this sweatshirt. Love these high boots with the socks. Love these pants. Love this jacket, this furry jacket with all the embroidery. I even like these crazy kind of big, chunky, metal-y boots, which is not like a me thing per se, but I just love them and I love her hair, love her accessories. So. We're gonna be getting into this beauty. If you haven't seen the back of the box, there it is. I'm pretty sure most of y'all have because these have been out for, you know, a little bit. They are still brand new, but you know, once everybody's seen them, they kind of act like, eh, on to the next, but I don't. I love these. I can't wait to get into this and do a review of her for you in the near future. And then I found Aisha Sterling. Now, I know I had found these at the Walmart and shown you that they were $50 there for some weird reason, but this one I found at Target. I wasn't gonna get her, cause honestly, and I'm always honest with you guys, she was my least favorite out of the promo picks, and I thought, ah, I'm probably not gonna get her. But when I saw her in person, she is really pretty. And I thought, you can't have two divas, only the two divas, you have to have all three. So they were running another one of those things where if you spent three times, you spent a certain amount, you got a free like $25 gift gift card and I needed to add to that like total because you have to do like a certain amount in one trip three different times is how that works. I don't know if anybody knows that it's in the Target Circle thing. Pretty good deals with that. That's why I end up being able to afford so many dolls. My mom and dad do help sometimes with my dolly collector heart making it happy but these ones I bought myself. So I'm glad that I got her and I made the trio complete for my three ladies. So I already did a review of her and I did a review of her, but I haven't posted it yet, either of these, but they're in the can. So next to review is this pretty lady, someday soon. Okay, last thing I got on this first trip, these were in the first trip as well as the little accessory studio display box, was this. 
Now I know you guys are probably thinking, huh, don't you already have two of these? One that you got right after it was new and then another one you got on sale? Yes, I do. And now I have three. Gonna tell you why. I found her on that day and I zapped her and it said, can't be found in system. And I thought, hmm, she was the only one left and they had had a ton of her. Whole long shelf, four deep of these. A longer than six foot shelf. So don't even ask me how many that is. You know, 30, 50, 60, who knows, a lot. And then when I went on this day that I ended up getting her and Harley and Aisha here, she was the only one left. She was just kind of like sitting there in a cart off to the side, you know how they have like the put back carts when stuff's been returned or misplaced throughout the store so that they have to put it away. And it was sitting on top and I thought, well, I'm gonna see about her. So I put her in the cart, finished out my shop and looking at everything and got to the checkout. I said to the girl, I zapped this, it says can't be found. I said, could you tell me how much it is? I said, last time I paid $11.99 for this same doll. She zapped it, couldn't find it. She said, oh, well, it's not in the system. And I said, oh, okay. Figuring that she was gonna say, you know, you can't buy it, whatever have you. She goes, how about $5? And I'm like, what? I said, $5 for this doll? She goes, yeah, I can put it in because it's not found. They'll probably just get rid of it and damage it out anyway if you don't take it. And I said, really? So I got this beautiful Kia Heart for $5. The whole thing could not stink and believe it. And she's so pink loveliness and I love pink so much and I just couldn't get over it. So I got this beauty for $5. Can you stand it? I'm so excited. So now I have three. One of these I'm gonna take and make her like the most pink spectacularness you have ever seen. I'm gonna take her out of her regular clothes and just make her super custom, super Christified in pink loveliness. So yay! Now the next things I'm gonna show you were from the second Target trip where I went with my mom. And I found this. I had found her once before at Walmart and did a shorts video, but I didn't know how much she was. And I thought, well, I'm gonna wait for these to go on sale. But when I was there with my mom and I saw these and it was pink, thought she was so cute. And I showed her to my mom because, you know, I tell my mom and my dad about the doll things and they're not into it like I am, but they appreciate it. And they, you know, indulge me in my love of dollies. So I was showing it to her and she goes, well, it's all pink and pink is your favorite. I'll just get it for you. And I said, but mom, this is $34.99. She said, eh, she goes, it doesn't take much to make you happy, so I wanna get it for you. So my mom gifted this to me. Now I busted this loose on accident when I was banging it around, but look at those cute shoes and those little stockings, huh? Love that, love, love, love. Love that you get like the body form. That is so me because you know, I love making custom outfits for the dolls. So I love having that. Here's the back of the box. Apparently you can make 320 plus mix and match looks with this doll. Don't know if you really can, but when we debox her, maybe we'll try some of that. I love this box art here. This is such a cute little illustration. Love that. Probably gonna keep that once I debox her. And then there's more of this on the back. There is the barcode if you wanna try and find her. This is La Rose and she was the best one. She had the prettiest bangs because some of them had some really chopped up weird bangs, like the way they were cut. Cause you know, they have that like crinkle cut was really unpleasant. They weren't like nice and even, so I didn't care for that. This one had the prettiest eyes, the prettiest lips, the prettiest pink everything. So I grabbed her and I'm so glad and grateful to my mom that I get to add her to my collection. Little story about the next thing I'm gonna show you. We were standing there and I was going over, they had five or six of this pink girl. So I was really looking hard at their faces. Y'all know us dolly collectors, we gotta check. Get the one that sings to our collector heart the most and is the most pretty to us. And my mom bent down and went, oh, there's this girl. And it is a doll that I've been looking for and wanted, but didn't get. And she had seen it with me on a different day that we went together shopping and I zapped it and it wasn't on sale. So we never ended up getting it. I've been trying to get it and just couldn't find it. All those good things without any further talking. I got Carmen Nichols here and I have wanted her for the longest time. Now she's out of the box because me and mom opened her together. My mom likes playing with the hair. <laughs> so I open them sometimes and let her play with the hair because she thinks the hair is pretty. But anyway, I wanted her, like I said, and I could never find her. I rang her up. She was $32.49, but I looked her up online and she was on sale for $18.18. So they price matched her. So I got this beauty, the only one in the store, the only one that I've seen in the stores in forever 
her for 1818, which I'm so, so happy about because she's just so pretty to me. I always wanted her. I really, really did. And here's her stuff for anybody who hasn't seen. You know, I'm not going to take it out and do a long deal with it, but there's her little hangers in the back and then there is the extra shoes and I miss these. I know I've said that to you guys. I miss these so much with the fronts that come off like that. Miss them, miss them, miss them. And then here is her secondary outfit and I put the little comb in there and I always cut off the little nameplate and put it in there as well. But there is her cute little outfit. I love the little jacket. The little jacket is awesome, y'all. Here's the little nameplate. I always cut that off. I don't know why, I just like keeping it. And I always put it in the little boxes. This is like a pleathery material, the little skirt, but I really like it. I love this, this is so cute. And the little rainbow top underneath. Now I cut the little stays so that it wouldn't, even though this is holy, so that it wouldn't make more holes in the white top there. So that's why I did that. But there's the cute little second outfit. This girl, like I said, I know she's not pink, but you know, other things sing to my collector heart that aren't pink and she just did, I just, love her face love her face and her lips so pretty I just I can't there's just something about it I don't know I like the neon above the eyes I like the way they did the lips in this kind of like salmony peachy red it's it's like a weird color that I can't really put my finger on and describe but I absolutely love it I love her little brown eyes and this bright bright hair I wonder if I have a thing with like neon green or greens because I really love her too and she's kind of like different and green so maybe I'm getting more green in my collectorness because the greens are speaking to me because I just I don't know something about this it's just so 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 gorgeous oh anyway I'm not gonna go on about her forever she's really pretty her hands are nice her screening is beautiful her clothes are nice her little shoes with the rainbow socks in the mesh that say rainbow at the top with the elastic super super cute now her stand has the sparkles in it but this is an older one see this older clip I'm glad they redesigned the clips, I do have to say. I do miss the boxes, but I'm glad they redesigned the clips. See how hard that was to get her off of there? And the clip is just kind of clunky and in the way, but it's the stand she came with. So, you know, I'm not gonna like not use it. <laughs> but there she is, singing to my heart, pretty Karma Nichols. I'm so glad to have gotten her. And I don't know if anybody knows why she was so hard to get, you know? like why she never went on sale. Cause I looked y'all, y'all know I go to Target a lot and I do a lot of Target videos and get a lot of Target sales and she was never on sale. They had three or four of her and I would zap her, nothing. Never on sale, not once, so don't know. But I'm super happy to have her. My mom got her for me. My mom got all the dolls in this trip, but I did have some Target cash and I did have a gift card that had some money on it and I did take that off. So mom didn't pay for all of it. She paid for most of it, like 90%. But I'm really appreciative of that and I'm so glad to have this beauty and add her to my collection. And I'm super glad that I got to share her with y'all. And last, but certainly not least, I got this other fashion show, OMG girl. Now she's one of the hair ones. This one is a mix and match girl and this one is like looks for the hair. I didn't know that there was that distinction. I didn't even really pay attention. I just loved her rainbow hair and her pinkness. I love all the pink, pinky pink. I'm not gonna do all the hair stuff, you know. I'm not really interested in that. I was mostly only interested in the doll because she was so pretty and they had four or five of her to go through as well. And I picked this one as my favorite because she had the nicest lips, the best eye screening, and the prettiest hair because some of them, these twists had pulled pieces. Now, I might not keep her hair like this, but I might. It is really pretty. I haven't decided what I want to do yet but once I debox her for you guys. I'm usually not much for like pants and stuff, but I really like these little velvet pants. I think these are so, so cute and I like the top. It's really pretty to me. Love all the sparkly, kind of matches my nails. <laughs> Baby hairs, all the cute stuff. Really, really love her. Again, she was $34.99. Here is the back of her box. Now that's funny. This one had box art, this other one, La Rose over here. And this one has just a picture of her with like her hair curly instead of in the twist. That's funny. Oh, I didn't know she had those boots and the slit and the pants. They're like bell bottoms. That's cute. Probably won't straighten her hair or do this crimpy thing or anything like that. Not really into that. If you are, awesome for you. We all have different loves and likes. I do like crimped hair on like the vintage dolls and stuff when they came that way, but I don't like, you know, doing that to dolls when their hair comes in a pretty fashion to me. I like the way this looks. It's really, really pretty. So 
there are my finds. I have to take this one out of the way because she won't fit. So, I know I couldn't fit everything. There's three dollies here off to the side that I couldn't fit in and my big, you know, display with the shoes. We'll do the outro with these beauties. Thank you so much for being with me. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it so much. And I hope you enjoy this medium Target haul. As always, I hope everybody watching is well, happy and safe, having the best dolly day they possibly can, and that all the good things that are in this life that can come to you, I really truly hope they will. I have to say great, big, huge, 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 lovely subscriber love to all you wonderful, lovely subscribers. Y'all really are the best. You're you're so sweet and kind. You're amazing. Our great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family just grows by the day and that's because of y'all and your sweetness coming along this journey, clicking that button saying, hey, we like your Dolly silliness and craziness and we want to come along this journey. I have to say thank you for everything, y'all. You really are the best. Love you much. If you haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for, y'all, because I do all kinds of wacky things. I do hauls, I do thrifting, I do tutorials, I do makeovers, customs, all kinds of good fun stuff. Anything in the dolly world that you can think of and try, we're gonna do it right here and make you have a great dolly day, let you unwind, have a safe dolly space when you're with me and have a little fun. So come along, join us, Become part of this great big Dolly Barbie YouTube family we have built because we would love to have you and everyone is always welcome here. Well, y'all, that's all for my Target haul. I hope you enjoyed it and y'all know what I'm gonna say. Bye, y'all!